is circumcision a bad word? No, not at all. All right, Miss Vincent literally was just like, bro, don't get circumcised in the first grade. I was like, wait, sorry, Miss Vincent. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> yo, no, but on the real though, yo, what was your first grade teacher? Bro, circumcision is whack. Miss circumcision. <laughs> <laughs> bro, yo, can we just talk about how circumcision is actually kind of whack? Yo, no, it really is. Like, bro, I don't understand how it's not painful. Or if it is, I guess they typically do it on babies when, like, you won't remember the pain. Yeah, no, it's like, okay, I, I'm not an expert on circumcision. Um, but I, I can confirm I have personal experience with it. Yes. And I have to say that, like, it's it's whack. Like, okay, it really it, is. There's some benefits. There's some benefits here and there. But it is kind of whack. It is yeah. kind of whack thinking about the, you know? Getting on. You guys ever like go to, on Amazon and like look for a tree, but then realize deforestation has caused the trees to disappear. So you're like, what the United Frick, bro? You ever go on Amazon and you're like, oh crap, the trees are dying at an alarming rate. <laughs> I gotta get my prime. Oh my God, my plantation. Hey everybody, King Corfish here and welcome on back to episode three of the Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver Soul Link with me and your boy Franklin. If you missed the last episode, it was up on my channel on Tuesday. The schedule for the series is Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, alternating between the two channels. So yo, make sure you're subscribed yo, to the both yo. of us. Next episode will be up on my channel on Saturday. And what else is happening on Saturday, Frank? We may or may not be taking off an article of clothing depending on uh, the like goal. A thousand likes and we take That's off an article of clothing. That's not what I was talking about, Frank. Come on, little <laughs> moan. Try again. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah! Uh, wait, what's, what episode is or what's this? Frank, going Frank, what's happening on Saturday? Just tell I, the people. No, I know, Frank, but what? When's Frank, this going Frank! on? Ryan, this is Thursday's episode. Oh, okay. All on right. your was, channel. I now of, tell the people what's happening on Saturday before I bust another nut. I mean, we're doing a, a uh, we're doing a Pokemon no. Omega Ruby and Platinum co-op sleep block. No, nothing yeah, crazy. no, nothing. Yeah, crazy. no. Just never Saturday. come out to it. But please, please. It please. starts at 2 p.m. EST. It's going to be sick. You guys should definitely uh, come check it out. Now, Ryan, I'm going to need yeah. you to take over the commentary for like two minutes. Okay. Wait, two whole minutes? What are you doing? Are you okay? He didn't even respond. Frank, I don't know what's happening. He's not sharing his screen right now. I'm concerned. Anyways, okay. There actually is something important that we should talk about at the beginning of today's episode. Uh, we forgot to mention this literally the entirety of the first episode but frank and i are going to be selling our bath water which is going to be very very exciting okay i know you guys always see the little skit at the beginning of every episode that we have to kind of tell you guys about the bath water it's like our little cold opening it's like our little infomercial type thing right but it's not a meme we're actually doing it we haven't really discussed it yet on frank's channel we discussed it in the previous episode which again if you guys haven't seen it you should go check it out you should go subscribe to my channel the schedule for the series is sunday tuesday thursday saturday alternating between the two channels my channel is tuesday and saturday frank's channel is sunday and thursday so please make sure you subscribe to the both of us so you don't miss a single episode of soul link action but frank I'm telling the people how about we're, we're selling our bath water. Tell oh, them. yeah, we are doing that. Yo, shameless plug. Definitely check the link down below in the description. Limited supply only. We are selling mm -hmm. our bath water. You guys should definitely check it out. And uh, I don't know, maybe pick up one. Bubbles with bros. Hell yeah. yeah, bubbles with bros. So with all that being said, six, five, four, three, two, one, go. go! Perfect! How are you guys doing? Welcome back to the Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver Soul Link. As you guys can see, I decided to set up my green screen. I don't know what I'm gonna put behind there, but I'll figure it out when I edit the video. It's That's gonna be a, gonna great be a time. fun time. Question of the day: What did Frank put in the green screen? You want to start off this episode <laughs> with a team recap because we did get an encounter in the previous episode, which went up on Tuesday. Go subscribe to both of our channels. No, I'm all right. Is it my encounter? No, nope. Frank. 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 <laughs> this is a Soul Link. Okay, we have specific Re protocol in this Re series. Okay, this ain't a co-op. Do no, you remember no. what I said in, in uh, episode remember? two? No, but we're not going to go there because you I, said that you're not going to be that guy in this soul. Like the soul link means serious business. We're not losing. We're not uh, missing episodes. I don't Frank, know. Frank, Frank, Frank. Uh, you also realize it's my encounter in the cave, right? Fra fine, Guys, fine. You know I, what? 
you know what, Ryan? You win this round. But I guarantee by episode four, I'm going to have given up. Moving on, starting off, whatever, adjectives. We have half right, level eight, lax nature. Yo, that's going to be me. I'm going to be lax by episode four. Just you guys wait on Saturday. I'm going to be gone. I'm not even going to be in the face cam. I'm eating this series. I'm quitting my job, putting in my two weeks. You already know what's good. Rock it out. We have bite over grow. Next up, we got overthrow. No, 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 no. You don't we read that one level yet. We're next. Don't immediately if McGargo is late. Look. To the trappage! You do have you done a soul link before? Just get get the dark cave encounter. Yawn, smog, ember rock throw, and then we have Diamond the Matang. He's the one who's linked to the Waylord Magnet. Frank, you're ruining our credibility out here, man. I you know, Ryan, give me give me can you give me like a motivational speech, like some words of encouragement so I can change okay. my ways? Okay, so Frank, I want to remind you the whole reason why we're doing this series, okay? Uh -huh. Vinny and Dylan, you realize that they told us, all right, they told the people, they made it a very big deal, that the reason that they lose their soul links is because of the kids, okay? And then guess what did they do? They lost their soul link four freaking times. So this is the reason why we're doing this project. All right, we're not going to lose. Yeah. We're not going to miss any episodes. We're going to keep this very, very structured. We're going to care about the project that we're putting out. We're going to have a good structure. We're going to have a schedule. Okay, we're going to be on top. You guys understand. I know I'm probably like the last person out there to be doing this, but I need, I already knew this going into this project. I needed to be on top of Frank in order for the souling to come out victorious. Okay, I'm going to stay on top of them. You guys don't need to worry. We're not going to lose any Pokemon. We're going to make sure to do team recaps. That's what you're supposed to do in Soul Links. Okay, proper team recaps. Don't drink Vortex voltage because that is not healthy it's not g fuel use code nine for 30 percent off in my encounter is that crazy dust what's your encounter okay first and foremost that was the most inspiring speech i've ever heard in my entire life you honestly Thank just you. changed my ways i want to start a, uh, a freaking charitable organization i want to single-handedly create world peace in like the next three seconds which i will be aiming to do look out uh that speech really just motivated me to get off my bum and get an encounter in this dark cave. okay so let's cool. go ahead. i just killed my encounter so it doesn't matter what you can <laughs> I just gave a whole freaking speech about, hey, I need to stay on top of Frank. I got to make sure that he doesn't lose any Pokemon. Make sure that he doesn't kill any encounters, all right? All right? And I just went ahead and I just killed my encounter. Ryan, you, said, though, you, you, how hey, did that happen? Hey, how? Hey. I want ex I want an explanation. How did that just happen? So my encounter was a Cranidos, yeah. which is a rock type. Uh -huh. So naturally, I went for Ember, which is yeah. a fire type move. Uh -huh. So I was like, it's not very effective. It's not going to kill. And then it, it killed God, Ryan, this is why we have problems, hey, right? Hey, if you hey, would just hey. think for three seconds, maybe before hey, you go for hey, an attack, Frank, I don't know, think, Frank, maybe Frank, this Frank, is probably a bad idea. Discuss, what did we agree on before in this project? No hostility. No hostility, right? no hostility. No hostility. No hostility. Okay, we are friends. We yes. work together in yes. order to win this soul. Like, Ryan, we really, Frank, forgiveness is key, and I would like to formally state right now, I forgive you. Okay, forgiveness is key, and I also forgive you. Okay, let's hug it out. Thanks, man. Okay. All right. Hey, I'll see you in the hallway. Okay, cool. One hug later. All right. Hugging complete. Um, Ryan? Ryan? Uh, okay. You can't hear me. Ryan? Yeah? yeah. Can you can you please timestamp that? I'm actually, I, I took a picture of us and I, I figured... I figured I, I'd include that for the people, just so, just so they know we're not lying. You know, we we did actually we did actually go out there and hug. Yeah, no, YouTubers don't lie, dude. <laughs> yeah, we don't we don't lie. Oh, never, never lie. We don't do that. So, yeah. Yeah, uh, no. Whenever we say, "Yo, we'll go hug in the hallway. We'll go do this." I promise you guys, we do that in the hallway. We actually, we actually do, it. do. Our hallway has seen some <laughs> some wild crap. If I do say something. That is an it. understatement. Like. On the real, some crazy stuff has went down in our house. <laughs> yeah, like crazy adult television. Yeah, like, like I'm laundry. <laughs> yeah, like like dishes and the happy flappy, bro. Like we get it off. You know what I'm saying? The happy you know, flappy. One time, one time we had this guy named Jack come into the house, and I was like, oh my hey, god, hey, Jack. Don't bring your dog into this. Don't don't tell no, the people no, about no. it. No, no, no. It was a, a different Jack. Different Jack. It was a guy. Uh, but Wait, you know, this, this guy more named Jacks in the world besides your dog. Yes, surprisingly. Uh, but, you know, this guy named Jack walked in the house, and I was like, hey, Jack, what's up? And, you know, it's a oh, it's a revolving door. We have so many people in here all the time. It's mm -hmm. a base, basically an Airbnb, so I wasn't surprised to see Jack here. I was like, sup, Jack, how you doing, bro? And, and he, he was, was all like, like, skadoosh! No, no, not at all, no. actually. He no. actually. Am I thinking said, about the other Jack story? 
No, no, you're thinking of the one, one time where Poe visited us. Let's get our story straight here. But, okay, you know, Jack sorry. walks in and is just like, Hey, Frank, uh, can I go jack off in your bathroom? And I was like... <laughs> hold on, hold on. No, I have a question for you. Jack needed to jack off in your bathroom? What? Yeah, no, well, so he, he said that and I was like, Jack, that's a little bit inappropriate. Why don't you jack out of my house? And he did. And that's the story. Good, good Real stand-up guy. Real stand-up guy, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> My <turn> <laughs> commentary. <laughs> I can't even lie. I I had to giggle with that one. That I was, was just <laughs> I was trying to make a I was trying to make a masturbation joke without actually being gross. Look, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. I gotta I gotta keep it real with you there, Chief. Okay. Uh huh. <laughs> It was pretty bad up until you said stand-up guy, and that's what I just kind of giggled. That's what I was just like. <laughs> the stand-up guy. You, you think Dude, that saved let it? Let me tell you about this one guy that Jack came over, okay? He came over, all right? He took all the cups <laughs> in our house. Who just shows up? Ryan. Yeah, no, J Jack Ryan. came. Ryan. I know. I Hilarious, bro. We, we're at the pinnacle of commentary, okay? We have the definition of maturity. I, not gonna lie, I really thought that was funny. I thought you were going to laugh at that. I, yeah. I, I was really ready to point that out and expect a lot of laughter, but you, you just, you didn't. You didn't yeah. really open up to that. Yeah. But Frank and I are getting very hostile in this soul. Somebody please help <laughs> so, us. Dude, we're, we're third episode in. This is the same recording session as episode one, so we're slowly yeah. but surely starting to hate each other. Yeah, literally. Someone please get Dr. Phil in the next episode so we can have some <laughs> marriage counseling. Like, I'm telling you guys, we need this. Also, in the next episode, apparently we're going to you know lose articles of clothing. If there's any video that I want to record with Dr. Phil, I definitely want to be half naked for it. How about you, Frank? Oh, yeah, because then he could look at us and be like, he could give us our physical right there. We wouldn't even have to go to the doctor's <laughs> office. Yeah, I'd be like, Ooh. I'd be like, yeah, my, my testes are nice, aren't they? And he'd be yeah. like, yeah. <laughs> what the hell is the Dr. Phil show? Like, I have a, like, is he a marriage counselor? Like, question no, of the day, what does he no, do? No, 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 no. Dr. Phil, okay, I, I'm actually going to drop some knowledge on you. So, oh, Dr. Really? Have Phil. Have you ever watched it? Yeah, no, I love Dr. Phil. So, basically, oh, really? Dr. Phil, what he does is, I've never seen the show. I'm waiting for you, by the way, because it's your encounter. You missed my Keep joke. going. Yeah, you missed my joke. What? What, I, what was the I joke? I said... Oh. Oh, I, sorry. You've never seen the show. Ha ha. Ha ha ha. Okay, all right, right. I'm real sick of your crap right now. Yeah, I'm sick of your crap. Okay, typically, this is gay, and apparently you lied to me. Typically, your standards are low enough to laugh at that. You didn't laugh at that, which makes me concerned. Are you feeling well? Yeah, no, like, someone please call the doctor. That was actually one of my <laughs> That was one of my better jokes, and you just didn't laugh at it, which makes Yo, me really sad. Can we take a quick jump cut so I can show you a video real quick? It's like a no, minute long video. No, I'm getting Wait, an encounter. What? Screw you. What? No, don't get to Hey, it's a giraffe rig! That's so bad, Frank. This That's is why we don't trust you to get the encounters first. That's like Ryan's morality backwards. <laughs> yeah, well, my encounter is a. Holy crap. Garb jump. Oh, wow, that's a thick. Oh, but that's a. Oh. Oh, this. Uh, yo, I gotta keep it real. This is like Frank's morality. It makes me nervous because it's gonna probably one shot me. This thing definitely has Dragon Rage. Um. It definitely I, has Dragon I, Rage. I, I gotta to run. Okay, good, because I killed this draft rig, so thank thank goodness you ran. Okay, perfect. Well, okay, to be fair, is it draft rig? Do we really want that thing? I mean, no. okay, the, the Garchomp would actually be something to consider on your end, not gonna lie. What happened? Okay, it didn't go for it didn't go for Dragon Rage, it went for Sandstorm, but I did not escape. That's what that made me very nervous. Oh boy. That's that's bueno. Um Okay, you Tackle. you need to you need to switch out. Does the, your other, if it goes for Dragon Rage when I switch? Does your other Pokemon have a higher HP? No, no, no. Both of them have less than 40. I already checked. I could check the summary. I don't know who's faster. Macargo has 10 to 13. It's not like he's much faster. Ah, uh, okay. Try I guess, again. Yeah, I guess just try running again. God, that's that's terrifying. He just keeps going okay. for Sand Attack. He, he might not have Dragon Rage, honestly. Try and I, kill him. I, he has Can you to. kill him? He has to. I don't Hold know up. how I would. I'm not very effective on it. I'm a cargo. Hey, 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 okay, it's going to have... So far, it has it used Tackle, Ryan. Sand Attack. Ryan. What's up? Ryan. What's your other Pokemon? And Sandstorm. Uh, Matang. Okay. Can you kill it with the, with the Matang? Yeah, but I'm so scared when I switch, it goes for Dragon Rage. Well, I mean, either way, something's going to die. So just go into if Matang. If he does go for Dragon Rage, okay. Yeah, just go into Matang and see if you can knock him out. Or, or actually, try running first. Yeah, I, I don't I don't think he's gonna go for Dragon. He would have already went for it. Try try just running again. I don't know, the AI is pretty stupid. So far it's tackle, sand attack, and sandstorm is what he's used. 
Try running. Try running. <gasps> Whoa! Go. Crisis averted. Crisis averted. Look, that made me really nervous. And fun fact: in me and Dylan's Heart Gold and Soul Silver Soul Link, we had our very first loss in that series to a Dragon Rage in the Ecritique Tower right here. Ooh. Okay. From a Garchomp. All right. That, wait, from a Garchomp? Same same situation? Yeah. Dragon Rage Catastrophe, Episode Two of the Heart Gold Soul Silver Soul Link. Go check it out. Dang, bro. I see you with them memorization. What? Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. But yeah, no, those things just make me so nervous. At least early on. At least early on. Dragon Rage, yeah. I mean, Dragon Rage is always a problem, regardless of... You know, not even... Oh! <laughs> That's another thing that might have Dragon Rage. God, he's a big peen. All right, we're going into Wrath. Yo, honestly, we need big That's peen. Dragon Breath. That's not Rage. That's not Rage. Oh, I, okay. d did I say Rage? No, no, no. I, I was just looking at your screen. Palkia went for Dragon Breath instead of Dragon Rage. Um, yeah, no, so as I was saying, it's a big peen. It's a big peen. We need very, very big peen. We, oh, he has water absorb. Wow, bro. Oh, I'm trolling. Oh, um, do you but think Loki would have Dragon Rage? No, he doesn't have Dragon Rage. Um, okay. what was I saying? Though? Oh, yeah, yeah. So we need big peen t shirts. <laughs> you want you want to make big peen t shirts? Because I'm actually so down. Could you imagine commissioning, like, DMing Guy? You'd be like, okay, so Guy. <laughs> so, Guy, I, I, I have this thing, right? It's a really big thing. It's a big peen, and I need you to put my peen on a t-shirt. <laughs> I'll send you pics for reference, all right? <laughs> I'll send you reference pics. Go for it, bro. Could you imagine we just send guy two pictures of us just, like, standing next to each other, naked, just like... Wait, you're talking You're talking about a penis? Well, what else is a peen? I was talking about my, my pina colada. What are you talking about? Yeah, bro, you're weird, I swear. I was I talking swear. about a peanut butter. Uh huh. So we're just saying they're naked with a drop peanut butter. <laughs> I think yes. that's worse. I think that's worse. <laughs> Yo, uh. I gotta keep it real. As much as I want to continue talking about peens, all right. Uh, we're about to encounter another Pokemon that might have Dragon Rage. It's a Rick Quick Way. Okay, Rick Quick Way does not have Dragon Rage. You're fine. How do you know? I I just know. Go into uh, go into Matang. Do you think? Well, wait, wait, wait. what type is Rick Quick Way? Is it Dragon Flying or is that his Mega? It's dragon. No, it's dragon flying. He's gonna have twister. Just go into Matang. You resist it. Or I can keep out Macargo and go for Rock Throw because it's super effective. And it's only level three, but it doesn't matter what level he is because if he has Dragon Rage, we're dead. He's not gonna have Dragon Rage. He it's have super effective. It's stab. It'll kill. Thank God. Nice. Thank God. Oh okay, my God. so I have a question Dude, for you. The amount of Dragon Rage scares. All right, what's your question? Um. Okay. So, firstly, peanut butter or jelly? We've had this talk. I'd have to go, with, depending on the flavor. Depending no, on the no, flavor. no, 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 you, you have to encompass every aspect of each product. So every flavor so of jelly. So like crunchy versus smooth, strawberry versus grape. Basically, you have an entire group of peanut butter, which includes crunchy, smooth, etc., etc., And then you have an entire group of jelly that includes grape and strawberry and everything in between. Oh my God, um, another guard job. Oh wow. So linked, Frank. Yeah, no, okay, okay. I'm probably gonna bro, have to bro, go with... Bro, bro, he tried to rage! No, I'm, I'm fine, though. Waylord's got HP for days, bro. Waylord, Waylord doesn't even know the definition of Dragon Rage. This is why that, Waylord is amazing. That just gave me a giant freaking pregnant scare, Frank. You don't understand. So he did have Dragon Rage. That means that I got lucky. Yeah, no, you got really lucky. Lu and luckily, to continue on with the luck, thank goodness uh -huh. Waylord has a crazy amount of HP. Oh, my God. That's, that's why we chose Waylord for the starter. <laughs> it was all planned out from the very beginning. <laughs> This is scripted content, I'm telling you guys. Exactly. <laughs> Anyways, what were you saying about your luck? Yeah, well, that was it. Just luckily, we, we got a Pokemon with a lot of HP. That was... Oh, my goodness. Yeah, no, I got so freaking lucky, though, that the Dragon Rage didn't go for the Dark Chomp. That would have been so bad, dude. Oh, man. You know what is really crazy, though? And knock on wood. All right, this has definitely been the scariest episode of Soul Link yet. But we are already about two quarters of the way through episode three. Zero deaths on both sides. Are you kidding me? That's wait, crazy, wait. isn't we're, it? Hold up, hold up. We're 20 minutes in. This is episode three. Yeah. And we're already 20 minutes in? Well, look at your commentary. Oh, my God. Bro, I, it literally feels like we're still in episode two. Time just flies by with Dude, these episodes. Literally. I just love commentating with you, man. I just love yeah. working with you. Same, man. This is, this is phenomenal. Oh, do you want to go hug in the hallway again? I... No, I'm all right. <laughs> I'm good. Thanks. Thanks for the offer, though. I'll, I'll send I'll send you a I'll send you a, a thank you letter later. <laughs> send me just a PO or what what are those things called uh, um what are the things called that you can get at like gift stops of of like 
the like wish you were here like if you were oh, like, like on vacation like san francisco what is it called it's like po card postal card right oh yeah um there's a name for him isn't there yeah, no, it's it's a post postcard, right? Postcard, post, right? I think it's postcard. postcard. I don't know. Whatever, just send me one to my room one day, please. <laughs> this man's googling it. I see it on his shared screen right now. Oh yeah, you know it is. It is called a postcard. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. I, I don't know why, but like that was one of those instances where like you say a word a bunch and then you like kind of don't like you, you don't kind of second guess it. You don't really. Yeah, you second guess it's even a word. I was like postcard. That sounds so weird, but no, that is yeah, a word. right. And that both of us thing. just experienced it at the same time. Maybe it's because we're so linked. Oh nah, I'm so linked with Vinny. Oh yeah, sure. You, you, yep, you're definitely still linked with Vinny. I, I am. Like you sure felt like that when he uh, ditched you to go work with Dylan. Yeah, well, let's talk about that. How messed up is that? They cheated on us, bro. Yo, you guys want to know something really, 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 really cute, okay? So, how many of you guys watching right now, comment down below if you know what I'm talking about, have watched the Vinny podcast, all right? Back when that happened last year. Frank was a guest on the Vinny podcast. They had a little bit of a Q&A section, uh, right? Mm -hmm. One of the questions was... If you could choose to do a soul link with anybody else, who would it be? Okay. Frank's answer was me because he's a really good friend. So you'd think Vinny's answer would have been Dylan. <coughs> it was Shady Penguin. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Is, did Dylan exist back then? Yes, Dylan existed back then. Are you sure? I think that was, B, I think that was BD before Dylan. It was not BD. I promise you. Are you I, sure? Because that was like early 2018. I don't think we knew Dylan. It was not early 2018. It was actually summer 2018. Really? I promise. So like, so like right below or right before, uh, three yeah, no, me and, yep. It was right before three reverses. Me and Dylan have been working for, uh, together for a few months at that point. We've done a couple different soul links under about when that podcast was a thing. But anyways, all right. I just like to establish how freaking funny it is that Frank's wish actually came true. And we are now doing a soul link together. Vinny is not doing a soul link with Shady Penguin. He's doing a soul link with Shady Penguin, but you know, I, with a m more, m less pubescent face. It's 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 Shady Penguin, but prepubescent. No, I think they're the same person. They're literally <laughs> the same person, but one has a beard. That's yeah. literally the difference. Yeah, you know, actually, yeah. Um, also, though, d just to clarify about that, like the reason why Vinny said Shady Penguin is because that's like his idol, his role model, and the reason yeah. why I I didn't say like my my role model YouTube uh, YouTuber is because of the fact. That I feel like with uh, commentating, especially in a co cooperative series like this, chemistry is so important. And I, oh, yeah. I literally, like, Ryan and I's chemistry is so good um, that I felt Aww. like it would create the best product. That's why I chose Ryan over, like, PewDiePie. Because PewDiePie and I, we don't talk, we don't know, you know, we couldn't, we couldn't, we couldn't <gasps> dig in Wait, the dirt. Wait, you don't talk to PewDiePie? Really? Surprise. Um, you, you've been lying to me for years, bro. Yeah. Yep. Look, look, I need to tell you guys right now about the story, about the very first time that me and Frank ever worked together. All right. I know you guys know the story. We met in the Nate Wants to Battle comment section. We commented on each other's videos. We did a master's challenge video together. Okay. The very first call that me and Frank were ever in. All right. The first thing, as soon as I hop in there, Frank just goes, oh, sorry, I'm late. I was hanging out and recording videos with my best friend, PewDiePie. I was like, oh, you're friends with PewDiePie? Oh my God. He's like, yeah, no, he recognized me in a coffee combos. And then ever since then, we were just best friends. He's got that coffee clout, you know? <gasps> I just got a lucky egg! Shameless plug, coffee clout merch available now for this month only, month of August. You guys and what website can I get the coffee clout merch, Frank? I don't know. Asteroidmerch.shop. Yo, you want to timestamp that so I can go ahead and throw up my little thing? Definitely check out the coffee clout merch. You already know what is good. But... Whoa! It's a good old time. Yo. Anyways, congrats on your lucky egg. Thank you so- In case you guys don't know what a lucky egg does, it doubles the experience that you can get, or maybe like 1.5 or something. I don't know. Eh, it's somewhat. Basically, you level up really quickly. That's nice. Yeah, no, dude. I'm just- That's awesome. Especially early on in the in the series and early on in the game. Dude, we're not losing this Bro, soul. Like, like, I, I, I should have equipped the lucky egg before battling a trainer. That is my bad. Probably would have been smart, but yeah, no, it's like, I, you know, I've, I know we've lost a couple of encounters so far in this project, but like, despite all that, we're still doing really dang well. I know, you know, because okay, your your levels are higher than mine. All right, you got a chance to grind a little bit in episode one before I really got to. Okay, so my I'm a little bit lower, but I do have a lucky egg now. Both of our teams are looking amazing. You have a trap inch and a whaler. Do you have a Macargo and a starter? Matei. <laughs> <laughs> you forgot. <laughs> you forgot your other Pokemon. Nice. Okay, he's the he's the kid that you forget. All right, every family oh. has the child that you're just like, oh yeah, that one. 
Which one's Nick? He's the one who plays soccer, right, Jen? No, it's hockey. God. <laughs> Ryan, you don't know how parenting works. And also, you just butchered my entire family. <laughs> eh, not Dom. <laughs> Dom's safe. Oh, my God. Yeah. You, you, you really just outed my entire family. Also, I'm going to get an encounter. Is it my encounter? Uh, no. Frank, did you did you go through all the uh, Bellsprout Tower stuff? Yeah, I'm done, dude. How the heck? I'm not through it. Have you been using speed up at all? Yeah. That would be why. <laughs> I you, haven't you, touched the speed up button once this whole series. Oh, are you for real? Yeah, dude, no. I, all right. I've, been, I've been speeding up like crazy. I'll be real. That's why you're higher level than me, bro. Yeah, no, yeah. I'm at level 13 and 18, dude. I'm killing it right now. Wait, so what? 18? What? You're yeah. actually over leveled right now, dude. I'm up to par. Yeah, no, I, I'm I'm over leveled this crap right now. It, was I was I not supposed to use speed up? I mean, I tried to like limit myself during the story stuff, but I've I've been using it. Jesus, dude, that's actually ridiculous. Anyways, all right, so the route that you're in right now is actually where you go to progress, like to go to the second gym. So I was, do you want to get an encounter before the first badge then? I, I think it's smart. Yeah, we can get the we can get a, uh, another encounter and then. All right, and then wrap the up the episode. Yeah, if you want. Yeah, no, and then in the next episode, we can take on the first gym. It'll be exciting. Ooh, bro, look at us. Yo, do you know what we should do, bro? What should we do, bro? If this if this series does really well, we should do a Soul Link Astro Lock. How about a Soul Link Astro Lock Egg Lock? How Master a, Mode Sleep how, Lock Wonder Trading Cage. cage. <laughs> Wonder Cage. <laughs> Wonder Cage. No, honestly, no, I think I think that'd be awesome, especially with us like like double teaming uh poke effects and the and the creative and, uh, the members that, could. Yeah, no, that yeah. is something that uh Frank and I, ever since he created the Astrolock that we've talked about, is an Astrolock co-op would be so fun. I really do love the concept of the Astrolock. It gets the members involved. I love like just incorporating challenges and outside resources into like content, you know, yeah. rather than just challenges in game, because Lord knows I'm not good enough to do that. But like you know, playing a game upside down or playing a game with the blindfold on, playing the game naked, you know, whatever it could be. Yeah, literally. In case you guys don't know what an Astral Lock is, basically it's a regular randomized Nuzlocke, but every single time you catch a Pokemon, uh, a certain thing called the Poke Effect kicks in, which is a challenge slash uh, thing that edits the game. It could be an editing thing, it could be an IRL skit, whatever. Basically, it's something that you have to fulfill that relates to that specific Pokemon that you just caught, and all of them are made by members. It's a really good time. I'm actually doing a white Astral Lock right now that actually should be uh, back up and running by the time you guys see this video. So You guys should 100% go check it out because the Astral Lock is such a good series. And I love Frank. He's Aww. just such a good series as well. I love you too, man. Thank you. <laughs> bro, this is why we're soul linked, all right, bro. Seriously, like, we're just we're just homies, all right. We, we out we, we out here, bro. We out here. <laughs> we really bro. are. Like, dude, I gotta keep it real though. This man over, he's literally like my brother. He's he's like my second oh. half. He's like he he's he's seriously my best friend. I love this dude. Too bad. Also, yo, you, you like you like the baby blue I'm rocking today? Honestly, I was kind of iffy about this color going in with the couch crew design, but I actually I love it. It's a really nice color. I do like it a lot. And where can you buy a couch crew shirt? You actually can't. It was it was last month's merch of the. I'm aware month. of that, but just, just plug your merch anyway. Asteroidmerch.shop. There's actually there's hey. a new merch of the month. In case you guys don't know, every single month we have a new design. So right now we're doing the uh, the coffee clout design. Uh, inspired by Coffee Convos, which is this podcast series that I do in the mornings on my channel. It's a good old time. Definitely check it out. Astro Mercer Shot. Heck yeah. All right. I'm almost at the, the, the... Never mind. I'm running into a wild Pokemon. I'm almost at the final bet. Do you want me to start speeding up? <laughs> uh, yeah, it might, might be smart. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe just a little bit. I don't know. Like, all right. I try my best not to use speed up like as often as possible. Just kind of... I don't know. Is it? I don't know if respect for the viewers is like the right word, but just I don't know. I, I don't want to be holding down the speed up button for an entire series, you know. I'll, I'll be real. I, I I I like Pokemon games when they're faster. Well, not even that. I also know. Then, and I'm I'm gonna be on top of you for this one. Speed up causes deaths, Frank. All right, it and does. we're not we're not doing that in this series, Frank. You know, well, it, okay. It, Maybe some deaths. Some stuff's unavoidable. But we're not going to lose, Frank. Okay? Yeah. No, we're, we're not losing a single mon in this mm -mm. entire project. Yo, know, honestly, though, we, we made it to episode three without... Knock on wood. Knock without on wood, losing... Knock on without do, losing any mons. We actually might be able to, like... I don't know. I, let's try and get to, like, episode ten without losing a mon. We could probably do it. Dude, let's just go as long as we can, okay? I'm not going to set goals, because that is how you create expectations and expectations create disappointment okay yeah. frank 
Yeah, and then you pull out the three inches, and they're like, darn, I really expected four and a half. Exactly, okay. And that, mean, just, that just lets people down. You don't want to cut your rulers down to size, because if you do, then you're not mm -hmm. able to measure as many exactly. things. Literally, when I walked into first grade, I couldn't fit my ruler into my pencil box, okay? So you know what I did? I took a pair of my safety scissors, and I went, Nyew! okay? And mm -hmm. then I showed up to class. I had my three-inch ruler. My teacher looked at me. Shout out to Miss Vinson, the best first grade teacher a man could ask for, okay? She looked at me and goes, that's disappointing. And I was like... I've heard that one before, Miss Vincent. You know, I know, and then you you couldn't measure anything else. Exactly. It's like you could only measure things that are three inches or below, and it's like, exactly. well, shoot, now what do I do? You could have had a full 12 inches, but you cut it down to size, and you got mm -hmm. a... I was going to say Ms. a bad word. Or is exactly. It bad, is circumcision a bad word? No, not at all. All right, Miss Vincent literally was just like, bro, don't get circumcised in the first grade. I was like, wait, <laughs> sorry, Miss Vincent. <laughs> All right. Too late. <laughs> yo, no, but on the real though, yo, what was your first grade teacher? Do you remember? Bro, circumcision you remember? is whack. Miss circumcision. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, yo, can we just talk about how circumcision is actually kind of whack? Yo, no, it really is. Like, like, bro, like I, we like first we understand. Of all, I don't what? understand how it's not painful. Or if it is, I guess they typically do it on babies when like. Yeah, no. You typically, won't remember you remember the pain. Yeah, no. It's like okay. I, I'm not an expert on circumcision, um, but I I can confirm I have personal experience with it. Yes. And I have to say that like it's it's whack. Like okay, it really it, is. It makes a lot of sense, and like I understand there's a lot of like scientific. It it actually is more cleanly. I'm pretty sure. There's right? there's some benefits. Cleanly. There's some benefits here and there, that, but it is kind of whack. It is yeah. kind of whack thinking about. Yo, yo, the, but you know. Yeah, but, no, but can we talk about it, okay, from the perspective of dogs? Boomy lost his manhood, bro. That's not circumcision. That's neutering, which is... I'd call them cousins. <laughs> <laughs> They're in the same family tree. I, if, they were to, if there were to be a family tree for, all right, shaving the testicle skin, oh, all right? Oh, man, I just realized Boomy can't have a family tree. He doesn't have the seeds. Don't, don't say oh. that. Don't put that in my head, bro. Boomy don't. can't reproduce. Oh. oh, no, we're not going to have That's Boomy so running around. That's so sad. Don't say that, Frank. I didn't need to rem Don't, no. God, I... Oh. God, could you imagine Boomy puppies? Could you imagine those little... Frickers. <laughs> Those little frickers. Oh, so good. I almost said a bad word. God, man. Oh, my God. Dude, Boomy is literally, he has so much freaking energy. But could Hashtag. you imagine his offspring? Oh, my God. Bring back Boomy's nuts. Hashtag unnooner the boom. Could you imagine Dylan showing up to, like, the vet, handing the doctor <laughs> Boomy's, be like, put him back. <laughs> I want his balls back now. <laughs> so am I. I know you have them in here. Where are they? Dude, when Boomy got his nuts chopped off, I politely asked Dylan so many times, yo, could I please have his nuts so I can, like, put them up on my wall in my background? He was like, nah, Ryan, I want the nuts. I was like, oh, Dylan. No. Dylan, that's he gross. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, Dylan keeps him in a jar and sleeps beside him every night. Cradles him to bed. Hopes that yeah, no. one day he can sew him back on. You know exactly. how, you know how Fullmetal Alchemist is all about, you know, the brothers trying to get their bodies back? Yeah, no, Boomy's living that in real life. Yeah, they're, he's like, my nuts, Dad. I want them. Give and me then, my nuts. Yeah, no. Meanwhile, Boomy's nuts are in a robot suit, and they're all like, sorry, but you must master alchemy first, Boomy. And Boomy's all like, Row! All right, here's my we, counter. We need the Philosopher's Stone. <laughs> That's oh. a legendary if I've ever seen one. Okay. <gasps> Bro! Dude, okay, okay. It works, okay. too. It's psychic. It works. Yo, okay, but it's gonna whirlwind. Just be careful. Should I just try to catch it now? Wait, hang on, hang on. Before you do, let me get my encounter. I, I'm not be smart. I'm not gonna try it? and I'm it? not gonna try and catch it. <gasps> That's good! That's good! That's primary normal! But Dude, it's good. And I, I love Staraptor so much! It's probably the best starting bird, you know, besides Talon Flame, but he doesn't dude, exist. Dude, yet. dude, dude, <laughs> dude. This team is literally becoming like all my Yo! Yo! I didn't even I didn't realize I have a I have a fly gun! These are literally all my favorite Pokemon. We're seriously killing it in this Holy project. Holy crap. I'm All nervous right. about this Lugia. All right, just, I can just, play this a few different ways. It might whirlwind me. It might go for safeguard. All right? Okay? What I kind of want to do. Ball. No, 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 no. I kind of... I, if I throw one ball, it's at full health. It's a legendary. It's just a Pokeball. I feel like it won't catch. I feel like my best bet, and hear me out, you know, as, as Soul Link partners, what if I switch to Macargo and go for Yawn? 
Then you, but you, then you gotta hope that he doesn't whirlwind before you're able to do that. It would take what three turn, two turn, three, three turns. Three, one to switch, one to yawn, one to sleep. It would take you three. We, what, what's more? But you likely? understand my logic, right? Like, yeah, no, no, I, no, like I, I get smart. you, I get you. But what, what's more likely? You, you catching it? You have, you'd have four chances to catch it if you didn't do this. What's more likely? Four, the odds of four Pokeball encounters or the odds of one Pokeball encounter while asleep and also compounding the fact that it can't go for Whirlwind for those three turns. All right, like, so what's... it has Weather Ball and Whirlwind right now. So it's like it's like a 50% chance. I, I, there is probably, you probably honestly have a better chance just throwing balls. You'd rather want me to throw, all right, I'm listening to you. I, I think I think that would actually give you a statistical advantage. Okay. All right. All right. Definitely wait for me to catch this before it didn't even shake. I think Macargo is the strat. Ah, well you're gone anyway. At least All I right. did get one Pokeball chance. So you got you got one if, chance in there. If I switched, then yeah. So that's sad. Ah oh, man, I I really wanted the Staraptor too. That'd have been bro, sick. Staraptor and a Lugia pair would have been nuts. <laughs> bro. Um, anyways, with all that being said, uh, let's wrap things up here because we're at 35 minutes. Thank you all so much for watching. Hit the this like button down below. seriously just going by so fast. I know, dude. It literally feels like we just started this episode. Like, what the heck? I know, um, right? But you guys are phenomenal. Thank you all so much for your support. When does the next episode drop? On Saturday on my Ooh, channel. Me, oh Frank, boy. and Dr. Phil. That's <laughs> spicy meat ball. But yeah, hey. I'll see you guys later. Thank you all so much for watching. You guys are amazing. Hit the like button down below. Comment, subscribe. Check out the merch, asteroidmerch.shop. And look out for the soul, or not soul, uh, the co-op sleep lock, the Omega Ruby and Platinum sleep lock dropping this Saturday. Um, it's going to be absolutely incredible. Yep. We're really excited for it. And we cannot mm -hmm. wait to see you guys there. Yep. Um, and tomorrow we're going to be having an announcement video going up if you guys are excited for that. So that'll be fun. And uh, yeah, no, next episode on Saturday, we're going to be battling Faulkner. So it's going to be our first gym battle. That's always exciting as well. Hope to see all of you there on Saturday. Hope we can beat this gym leader. And we'll see you all then. Peace. Peace, peace. Bye.